exactly 1443.08 Tuesday morning solar time, an enormous explosion occurred in Pluto vicinity. It was quickly pinpointed to Charon, Pluto's moon. Transtemporal, the Titan-based corporation, is known to have a large research center on Charon, but there has been no communication with the facility since the explosion. This is men to leave to U-35661 approaching. You've got the Lodestar and Iron Dog Bodine. I've been rolling in the outer for two weeks, so I would appreciate it. Lodestar, your ejector's too flat. You'll have to burn off two VUs or risk relaunch. Sorry, but I don't have enough deuterium to muss up a dandelion. Is that you, Ward? Stand by, Lodestar. U-35661, I've been authorized to land you. Maintain attitude. You're now at zero, zero and passing the outer mark. You'll be fine, Tully. About 65 gigs. Yes, I know, Ward. Frame at 56 Central, pick up our pay. Incredible in the rank. Let's see if we can scare up something semi illegal to hold back. Right, Tully. We ought to be burning out of here in about four hours. T4 to B6 Central. Mort, how's Tully? We haven't seen the Lodestar around here in three years. Tully's been saying the next haul will be his last. Yeah, that'll be the day. That's Tully Bodine. Where you been, Tully? I tell you. Hey, hey, long time. Long, long time. I don't know. Ratbag, Baxter. What'll it be? Tully. Oh, <laughs> nails. <laughs> Tully. William Head O'Bannon. Good to see you, Iron Dog. What brings you to the backside of Alcatraz? Big money. What else? Know any? <laughs> if I did, I wouldn't tell you, you bastard. <laughs> well, you have. If you're buying, red line. Neat. Hey, did you hear about Andy Opal? The fuser? Well, as far as we could tell, Andy's bus was on Karen, unloading cargo, and Trans Temporal had that big blowout. Ugh. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that. Bodine. Tully Bodine? Yeah, could be. My name is William Snid. I represent Carl Slagan. Here's my card. I was wondering if we could have a moment together. Tell him on in. I can't believe that you had the guts to haul that flying violation into my jurisdiction. Well, man's got to make a living, Francis. My God, it's good to see you two. I see all that graft and corruption has gone to your gut. <laughs> <laughs> check everyone's certification. A check for forgeries on the legits. Voting. you've got exactly eight hours to pay your landing fine and get out of Mendeley, or I will impound that dump rail of yours, and I'll have it torn to pieces looking for stolen parts. Ah, now, venture nozzles, Francis. All I'm looking for is my last big haul, and you will never see me again. I'm quitting the rolling light. Tell me I know. You can't be serious. Wow, well, well, what a shame. Because, you know, I was just about to give you, I mean, I was going to give all of you people some real competition. This is my nephew, Vern. He's a graduate of the Ronald Reagan Military Academy. He just had a three-year course at URail. And he's a certified outroller as of today. Congratulations. It's a great life. But Francis, he's going to need a decade or two in the outer before anybody here is going to call him an outroller. Well, I don't have that kind of time, Grandpa. That's enough, Vern. Guess you don't see much of... Molly Matlock anymore. Molly and I are going into the hotel business on Colony Mars. Well, come to think of it, uh, Molly always did sort of have low standards. Yeah, real low. Hey. Forget it. You got just two hours. Get off my moon. 
Tully. Get back to the outer where you belong. Burn! What was that all about? We were in the ranges together a long time ago. Wampa was my NCO. And... We used to date the same girl. Whew. William Snid. Interplanetary dry goods. Look at this. Meet me at Bay 2844 South. Cargo waiting. Huh? Frame loaders are empty. I'm short on time. I thought you had cargo. Ah, don't worry about a thing, Mr. Bodine. I do have a frame. And I've been authorized to offer you full tanks and 52,000 gigs for a one-way haul to Phobos. <laughs> no questions asked, right? What are we carrying? There'll be a manifest as usual. Mr. Schlegen will pay in full once you deliver the cargo to Phobos Depot. Oh, you'll have to pay my landing fee. Ah, everything will be taken care of, Mr. Bodine. All right, you got a trucker. Where's your friend? If you're not there to get the cargo in the next 16 minutes, it might not be there at all, right? Isn't that your jump truck down there now? Now, let's get one thing straight. Lone Star is no jump truck. She's a vintage Nova UD2. Four Rolls-Royce RH-12 thrust tunnels. I mounted them myself. Mort, we've got 11 minutes to get to Bay 247 West. I've queried ahead to Bay 247 West and have the manifest. Would you like to see it, Tully? Yes, I would, Mortimer. Twenty? Twenty live camels. Camel caravans are the most efficient way to move cargo across the rough Martian terrain. Huh. We're approaching the West Quadrant now. Turn in here, Tully. I should alert you, we've only got nine minutes to get to Bay 247. The traffic is always heavy this time of day. Okay, Mort. Heads up. System check. Use your right and left arrow keys to steer the Lodestar. The heading indicator points to your destination. Use it as a guide to steer the Lodestar in the correct direction. To minimize damage, activate your shield. Turn your shield on and off with the up arrow on your keyboard. Sound your horn to clear the rail by pressing the right mouse button or down arrow of your keyboard. Aim with your mouse. Fire with the left mouse button. Good luck. For further operation instructions, refer to the manual. Blow the horn! Where'd you learn to drive? In order to get to the cargo bay, you have to head towards the observatory. Use your heading indicator if you can't see the observatory. Action in the head! Tully, we're being tracked by robotic police. Displaying image now. <laughs> Action in the head. Transmitting a speeding citation. <laughs> Exceeding the speed limit. Obey the speed limit. Uh. 
Action in the head. 